Our trip begins in Tai An, where you can climb Tai Shan, known as Di Yi Shan in China. This is considered as the greatest of the Taoist mountains in China, and many people make a pilgrimage here to climb to the top. Of course, in the Chinese style, scaling this mountain involves climbing stairs, over 6,000 of them. This mountain is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is of great importance in Chinese culture. After climbing all the way to the top, you can stay the night. A popular thing to do is watch the sunrise here. Just don't be surprised if you're surrounded by clouds and fog and don't see anything. A new high-speed train will take you to the next stop, Chu Fu. Famous as the hometown of Kongzi, this is a great spot to learn about Chinese history and culture. In the city, you can get around by trisha or horse cart to see the three main sites, known as the San Kong. Start with the Kong Miao, the largest and most famous Confucius temple in China. Situated at the former home of Confucius, this is a site where 12 different emperors paid 20 personal visits to worship Master Kong. Thanks to fires and the Cultural Revolution, this temple has had many renovations over the years. Next, head to the Kong Fu, the historical residence of the direct descendants of Confucius. This mansion is traditionally Chinese, built on Confucian principles of order and hierarchy. Finally, pay a visit to the Kong Lin. This Confucian forest is a cemetery where Confucius and many generations of his descendants have been buried. As you can see, people still flock here to lay flowers at the tomb of Confucius every day. Our trip ends in Qingdao. After climbing a mountain and getting cultured, it's time for a beach vacation, China style. If you can handle it, brave the crowds to see the Zhan Qiao a famous symbol of the city that's also on the Qingdao beer label. Here, you can shop for seashells or take your picture with this guy. Continue to stroll along the coast, where you can stop to enjoy some Chinglish and see where the idiom Ren Shan Ren Hai comes from. Check out some cool dudes enjoying an alternative game of volleyball or hit China's version of Muscle Beach where you can pump some iron, see guys doing backflips, catch some Z's in the sand, or show off your tramp stamp. In the evening, go out for some hai xian. There's plenty of delicious stuff to choose from, and as it is China, plenty of weird stuff as well. Silkworm larvae, anyone? Take your pick of fresh seafood from the tanks. And then have it cooked up just the way you like. The next day, do a little speed sightseeing to see the city's Catholic and Protestant churches. As well as the old German governor's residence. Take one more glimpse at the crowded beach, and then get the hell out of there. It's time to head to the Qingdao Pijiu Jie. At this annual party, you can drink beers from all over the world. Eat a ton of things on sticks, and take a spin on some crazy carny rides. Hopefully not in that order. Things really pick up at night as the tents are packed with people singing and dancing along with pop singers. Just watch out for those crazy la wai. Here you may see both a Michael Jackson and a Britney Spears impersonator on the same night. Practice your Chinese and make new friends. And you'll be treated to endless amounts of free beer and chicken feet. A sloppy end to a great trip. <laughs>